Hi, Jonathan Roberts here. Fourscore is really, really awesome for annotating and sharing scores, but what can be a little tricky is figuring out the most effective way to share those annotated scores with your students. Most often you can email or text, but then your student has these emails and texts that they either need to print off from or read off of a device to see your annotations. This solves that by uh, integrating Fourscore with Evernote. If you haven't seen my video on Evernote, it's a really handy free app that basically acts like a digital notebook. So your student has a different note for each lesson and you can, uh, you can send along PDFs, you can create recordings. There's a lot of flexibility with that. But this short video is just gonna show you how easy it is to share these with your student on Evernote so that your student has all of your four score annotations in one handy place. So right now on my iPad, I have a score open in four score. And I'm just gonna make some kind of doodles on here. Let's just pretend these are actual markings. And then I might use a different color. And so on. So uh, just like sharing any other document, I'm gonna tap the top right. I'm gonna go down to share. And I'll do the annotated PDF. And from this list of icons, all I need to do is select Evernote. And right now I have this sort of dummy notebook set up for demonstrations, but if I just tap this in the bottom, I can select which of my students I wanna drop this annotated PDF into. Uh, but right now I'm gonna leave it on fake notebook. And I usually put the date that I annotated it, just a, another little piece of organization there. Annotations. And then I'll tap save. So now I'm going to go into Evernote on my computer, just so you can see what that'll look like, not only from your other devices, but on your student side. So I'm gonna navigate over to Fake Notebook. And as you can see, it's already there. And the student, all they have to do is tap on this little eye thing, and there's the PDF with all of the markings in there. And there are some other little bells and whistles that they can do on their end, uh, like they can annotate it on their end inside Evernote and then send it back. That might be another level of complicated that you don't want to get into. But uh, again, with Evernote in here, they can have all their lesson notes and then they can have a separate note for their music and everything's contained in one nice, tidy little app. Uh, if you have any questions about any of this, please feel free to drop it in the comments. And if you found this helpful, please do subscribe to the YouTube channel. We would love to see you again. Thank you so much.